hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys if there was ever a battle that needed to take place it is certainly this one because if there was ever a person that needed humbling it is certainly one of the main characters in this ensuing battle but is sunday igbo the best placed person to take on this battle guys i bring you this oluwo of iwo dares sunday igbo ho holds rally in solidarity for one nigeria so of course uh oluwo of iwo he raises his uh ugly head again because of course if there's anything that is uh resonating within the public space if there was anything trending then this guy always uh finds a way to slimy his name into it and this uh sunday Igboho phenomenon is particularly uh set up for elements like uh um, um oluwo of iwo to milk it and to ride off the back of it to gain some sort of a uh, notoriety so that notoriety which has been his uh, calling card since he came into a uh, public uh, consciousness i was going to say public prominence but he has no prominence and there is nothing eminent about him so public consciousness is actually what he came into so that notoriety that he has been craving all over that is since he came into public consciousness this sunday igbo host scenario now presents him the perfect scenario to a uh, sort of a uh, straddle and write to that notoriety that he craves so much but is sunday igboho best suited now to take on this battle i am back in sunday igboho as again oluwo of iwo dares sunday igboho holds rally in solidarity for one nigeria so now let's now see what the amugo king of iwo is up to this time around the paramount ruler of Iwo, Oshun State, Oba Abdul Rashid Adewale Akambi, has said he is not in support of those calling for the disintegration of Nigeria. He said this at a rally organized on Saturday to canvass for One Nigeria in reaction to what Sunday Igboho said that any Yoruba traditional ruler not in support of Odudua Republic should do a video recording and identify himself or herself as an enemy. I can be further buttressed his point by issuing a press statement through his press secretary Ali Ibrahim saying those in the vanguard of the breaking up of Nigeria should stop such a movement. Nigeria is indivisible unbreakable inseparable and impenetrable nation and the hope of the black race and its weakness must be properly and technically managed any attempt to break up nigeria unavoidably results in the separation of the black race worldwide no nigeria can never break i will admonish the breakup agitators to channel their energies towards productive ventures such as calling for quality governance and devolution of power as done in some advanced countries the leaders at the helm of affairs should be tasked to give dividends of democracy and quality lives to citizens promoting secession is like fueling war that will consume the black race as a responsible father of the nation i cannot be part of such a move the monarch warned nigerians living abroad to watch their comments on social media so as not to create chaos whilst assuring that the country will be great again the nigerians in diaspora should exercise caution in contributing to issues on social media most of their comments are fueling division and heightening the tension you all planned to resign home of what justification is destroying what our forefathers labored for and settling the house we planned to resign on fire the failure of past leaders sent you abroad the government is taxed to domesticate dividends of democracy through policies that cut across all classes and social strata the agitators should dust their voters card take part in elections and promote competent candidates nigeria is too delicate to beat the drum of division synonymous with war nigeria will bounce back we will survive the trying time 
and be the envy of great nations. We have what it takes. What we need can be done by competent leaders. Let's harmonize interest to demand quality governance. So those are the words of uh, Oluwo of Iwo, but of course those are not really the words of uh, Oluwo of Iwo. Those are the words of a hired uh, PR person that has articulated a position for Oluwo of Iwo. Because Oluwo of Iwo, of course, is a semi-illiterate, so certainly he cannot craft uh, such a, a worded uh, and a worthy sort of a statement. But whatever, whoever, and however it is written, those are the sentiments now coming out of the Iwo camp. So now Sunday Igboho has thrown out, uh, has thrown down the gauntlet to say whichever oba in Yoruba land is against the idea of an Odudua nation should step forward now and make his uh, is a position known. So Oluwo of Iwo, of course, the first person to step forward, and you don't get more categorical when the challenge has been thrown to identify where you stand uh, in the divide, which side of the divide you stand. So when that gauntlet has been thrown down, and Oluwo of Iwo, of course, now holding a, a rally in Iwo land in uh, solidarity with one Nigeria, so that then states categorically that is with the Malamis. So he has always, of course, been with the Malamis, by the way. This is a guy that doesn't even have any regard for the history of his own uh, domestic people, not the Yorubas now, but the people of Iwo land. Because, of course, this is a guy now that says he wants to be called an emir, a tradition that is not known in Yoruba land and certainly not in Iwo, and that he wants to affiliate and associate with the northerners and he now wants a northern population to be subject. So an open invitation to the Malamis, to the Fulanis to come and uh, live within his, uh, his uh, domain, his, uh, his, uh, his town or whatever Iwo is. So that is his open invitation to those people and of course he continues to cut them and cut them and I, I use this phrase often anytime I am uh, talking about uh, Yoruba kings and Obas uh, mainly but really the entirety of the Nigerian space but I'm speaking particularly to the Yoruba space now but this applies to everybody so the Yorubas are no more or lesser than but in this is instance these elements are actually just dollar bag Obas. They are dollar bag obas and they have no interest outside uh, how much they can gain financially from the seats that they occupy. A lot of them are like that, if not all of them are like that, with the exception of my own monarch actually, uh, which is the Alafin of Foyo. The Alafin of Foyo will tell you as it is, is an, it is something year old man, so there's not that much more that, uh, that will really seek to impress him. But in the generality, the Obas within the monarchs within Yoruba land and by extension the rest of Nigeria, they are dollar bag monarchs. And the way they operate is whenever there's a crisis like we're having at the moment, you will find these dollar bag Obas are uh, immediately coming into the public space to try and take ownership of uh, their people's position within that uh, crisis and then go and monetize that ownership that they have taken of their people's position uh, of, uh, of uh, within that crisis to go and monetize that with the powers in situation at the moment. So it, it's not just uh, uh, Buhari, it was good luck Jonathan, I don't think Obasanjo yielded to them too much, but certainly during Abata's time it was like that, Obasanjo, not Obasanjo, but Bangide, etc. So it is the tradition, whenever there's a crisis, the uh, monarch uh, of that space will call for calm, and then before you know it, that monarch is on the next flight to Abuja, and then you see photo opportunities of him going into the villa, and then shaking hands with the uh, president, whoever the president is in situation at that time, shaking hands with that uh, uh, president and then coming back to address a press conference to tell everybody that he had looked that president frontally in the eyes and told him to pack it in. But then, of course, uh, the dollar bags are already packed into his car in the... In, in, in the villa. So as he drives off with the dollars that he has come to collect uh, from uh, the uh, sitting president, he then goes back to his domain and then gathers all of the arrowheads of that crisis 
uh, funnels them into his palace, gives them uh, portions of 10-15% uh, of the monies that he had collected uh, from Abuja, and then he quells that thing down, and then he gets apart from whoever the president is. So dollar bag obas, this is the way these people operate, and to signal to the powers that be that they are ready to negotiate and to come and collect, they make these sort of pronouncements that the Oluwo is uh, making, and they hold the sort of rallies that the Oluwo is holding. Conversations in the comment section, the dollar bag are uh, uh, KBSCs of Yoruba land are a prime example, of course, the Oluwo of Iwo, a good example as well, the Alake of Egba land. So it's usually the second tier ones. You would not find the Oni of Ife. You, I don't really, I'm not decided yet on the Oni of Ife actually, but you would not really find the Alafio you know, for your being messy in this manner. The Alafio you know, for your is for the Yoruba people, and it will tell you frontally and as the first thing that it does say to you that I am for the Yoruba people and that is exactly what he needs to do. The Obi of Onicha has to be for the Igbo people. He cannot be for a Yoruba man or an Aousa man. Yes, uh, he will show kindness to a Yoruba man if kindness is needed or to an Aousa man but the primary function of the Obi of Onicha is to serve the interest of the Igbo people. The primary function of the Alafia for you is to serve the interest of the uh, Yoruba people. Uh, ditto the only, ditto any Yoruba monarch. But then, of course, the Yorubas are notorious for treachery. And this treacherous behavior now, it continues to recall from Afonja to uh, Oluwo of Iwo. Come share thought about all this with me in the comment section. But before you come into the comment section to engage, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done all the clickings, the Oluwo of Iwo is uh, acting to type. No surprises here, but are you disappointed? So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation with you in the comment section. But here, I say peace.